Salwete omnes, this is I'm Emilia, also known as the Martian Geek. In the last episode of Mickey's Magical Quest 2, we went through a haunted circus and we beat up a lion that likes to throw his hair at us. And with that, we move on to stage 2, which is the jungle. Actually, stage 2 in all three Mickey's Magical Quest games is some sort of forest or jungle. Oh, and who's this? The Lonesome Ghosts! Boo! Did I scare you? Aha! Ghosts! Are you the fellas who ruined the circus? Well, are ya? Are ya, punk? No, no, we've been too busy entertaining your friend Pluto. It seems something scared him at the circus. And he got lost. We told him to meet us at our home, on the other side of the jungle. You're welcome to join us there. A safari outfit should help you on the journey. Here, try it on. Gee, thanks, and thanks for taking care of Pluto. It's dangerous to go alone. Take this! And we get another new outfit. The safari outfit has a hook. And with that hook, you can swing on things. Such as these gray spheres, or whatever the heck they are. Unfortunately, while you're equipped with the safari outfit, you can't pick up enemies. And for that reason, I don't tend to have it on all the time. Well, there is one nice thing about the safari suit, which is that it doesn't take any ammo. That's basically the extent of its abilities. It's grabbing onto stuff. Oh, and it can grab onto walls as well. At least most walls. It seems like there might be a few that it can't handle, but... Let's slide down those things. Beware of fish. That's not what I call be wearing a fish. And just like in the first game, if you're in water too long, you start taking damage. And unlike the first game, there is no suit to prevent that happening. Fortunately, water isn't terribly common in this game. Get rid of him. Whoops, wrong suit. Ah, uh, yes, we're gonna use the vacuum to climb the tree. But yeah, you have to switch to safari suit here. And once again, it's mid-boss time. We are fighting a turtle. This boss is easy, but he takes a while. Because you can only hit him once at a time. And... Yeah. Probably the safest way to get out of the way of his damaging water waves is to just keep jumping on his shell. It doesn't hurt him or you to bounce off his shell, but it does keep you in one place, I suppose. Beyond that, just keep hanging on these things. Also, different boss music. Actually, I think this music is unique to this turtle. Okay, so he's gonna do the waves. I'm not sure if that's exactly the way you're supposed to avoid those, but it works, so... And that was bad timing. Fortunately, he gives you plenty of time to jump on him. Oh, also, I think if you stand at the right side of the screen like that, after jumping on him, he will never go to attack you. He always goes back into the water. Also, he seems to be... Okay, no, I'm not sure if I can hit him. Uh, nope. I missed my opportunity. Yeah, you really just want to be... Okay, there we go, he's down. Yeah, pretty much you want to be swinging on these at all times. At least all times he's not doing the wave attack. And with that, we move on to the next part of the stage. Another thing I should mention that I forgot to mention in the first episode that's different between the first game and the second is the second game is not separated into stages. Like, there's no 1-1, 1-2, 1-3, 1-4, 2-1, etc. It's just basically considered one level with various rooms. Also, there's a door here. And it has... what's this? Apparently... 
Another heart container. That's always nice. Also, you have to wait for this snail once again. Yeah, this room's definitely designed with the safari suit in mind. Good luck getting through without it. Actually, it probably isn't possible. Did I do that wrong? I may have. There we go. But yeah, you have to use these snakes as platforms. Oh, and flying squirrels. They do get in the way. Not really much of a point to that snake there, unless... Like, some of those swinging gray spheres aren't there on hard mode or something. So I suppose this would be 2-4 if this if the game had individual stages like that. Well, not what I was quite going for there. There's gotta be a reason those things are... Squirrels! Hmm. No? Okay, I thought I grabbed onto that, but... Okay. Actually, it looks like there should be something up there, too. Can I bounce off a squirrel? Eh, well, I guess I'll never know. Vacuum ammo. Who would be using a vacuum suit in this level? There's like, nope. Oh yeah, I guess you can hang on to ledges like that, too, but... It's kind of fickle. There's seriously like no place in this entire stage where you would need to use a vacuum suit. Well, actually, that's not true. The area we're coming up on, once I stop dying because of the stupid squirrels, um, go down here and don't hit the thorns like I just did because there's another invisible two up. Squirrels. You're like this game's equivalent of the flying fish from Mario. Okay, so this is the part where you're going to need the vacuum suit. See those blocks there? You can actually suck them up, and you can use them to block these gas vents, because, needless to say, those do damage you if you touch them. Probably don't need to suck that one all the way. Actually, I always forget that this block's here. Let's see if I can suck that... And there we go. I don't think I need to worry about running out of ammo too much. You can still pull these things while you're wearing the safari suit, and that was a 1-up, which is always useful. Still squirrels. Why does there have to be squirrels? Oh well. And that was dumb. That was not what you're supposed to do. You're supposed to suck the block over that first one. But anyway, it's boss time. This guy is actually a little bit challenging for only being the second boss. He's not amazingly difficult, but yeah, fighting a big old gorilla, and he likes to make random stuff fall down on us. And that was really dumb. But he's presumably half down already. Actually, I think it might be safe to just stand directly under him like that. But don't quote me on that. Ah, oh, I wanted to pick up that other piece of ammo. Not that I really need it, since you can just jump on him. And during this part, you can tell where he's about to potentially come down by where the leaves are. Okay, this boss isn't that hard, but... He still moves rather quickly, and he can catch you off guard if you're not expecting him. And love that facial expression. Stage 2 is down. Stage 2, the jungle clear. And still only 20 coins. I think you get more if you take no damage or something like that. Or less damage. Or don't lose any lives. I'm not sure what the requirements are. But anyway, that's two stages down and four to go. So I'll see you next time in stage 3.